so finally uh, I got my coilovers today. Just picked them up a few minutes ago, so I thought I'd do a little unboxing to see what comes in the box. So I'm gonna be doing this one-handed, so it's gonna be kind of hard. So I actually ended up going with the function and form coilovers. Um, at the time of the order that I played, they didn't have the type twos, and I just didn't want to wait, so I just ended up getting uh, the type ones. And then, according to some people that I know, it's just uh, minor like adjustments between the two, um, so it should be fine. So let me just go ahead and open this shit up real quick. So I haven't opened this yet, but let's see what we got in the box. So let's see what is this is. Is the magazine? No, it's a calendar. Okay. Two scores, okay. Oh, okay, this is definitely going up on the wall. For sure. Oh, okay. Nice, for sure. All right, I'll, I'll look at this. I'm done, all right. Looks like we got just function and form, magazine. Hey, it's gonna be us right here. We made a voice right there. Looks like just a bunch of other products and stuff like that. And this is just a decal. So maybe I'll throw this up on the car, maybe. So this is the first time I've been, uh, that I buy colors. So I actually don't really know what comes in here. So we got some basic hardware. So the measuring tape, this is just to measure the distance uh, to see how, how high you want to have it. So you can just measure it out. So we have a little measuring tape. Actually, let me go get you some scissors real quick. So I went ahead and cut them up already. So, oh shit, these are pretty heavy. All right, so it looks like these might be the front. I believe they're the front ones. And then, I guess I'm adjusting. Uh, Couple more of these, and then should have the other set of ones. Yeah, so pretty much the exact same. Another set for the front and then the rears as well. All right, so one had no benches on them, just so you can see. So again, this is the type ones. Look really nice. I actually like the colorway that they went with. Kind of like a gold, kind of like a reflecting kind of gold color. And then the red, and then the black springs. And then I believe these do come with the cap. Yeah, so you don't have to use your OEM ones. You can just use those. It does come with the top hats. Um, so I should be installing these pretty soon. I'm just waiting for my new tire setup that I'm getting. And then I'm gonna make a video. I don't know if it'll be the same video or, or maybe a separate video. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty much the coilovers that we went with. And yeah, I'll pretty much just a little update on what I've been doing. All right, so we're about to put the coilovers on the RSX. So it's been a couple of days since we started on this. We've had a lot of fucking issues. We ended up snapping our, you guys can't see, we ended up snapping the tie rod ends. We had to get them replaced. And then we do have one of the rear culverts already on. So I don't know if you guys can see. So this one's already on. It's just not adjusted to the actual height. So we do still have a couple of room. 
to work with. So we're gonna go ahead and do the rest. So this is gonna be AB4. And how much space we have, no coils. And then we will see how it is with the coilovers back on. Get the rear. So this is the back. Still on springs on this side. We got about three fingers. So we'll see how it looks. All right, guys, what's going on? So finally, uh, it's been a couple of days since we installed the coilovers, as you guys can see. So I just wanted to wait a couple of days before I did a video, just so that I can make, um, if I do need to make any adjustments, I wanted to wait for the coilovers to sit and adjust after a couple of days of driving it, just because I do know that it will kind of lower a little bit uh, within time. So I, I believe I do have a clip that I'll go ahead and put in of I look before. Just so you guys can kind of see um, the difference between the colors that we have now and the tain springs that we had before. Uh, so I'll go ahead and show you guys the setup that we did. Again, we didn't make any adjustments to the height. So, um, and I actually, I think I'm okay with uh, how it is right now. I, I again, I probably still have maybe, maybe like two inches that we can go lower. Um, so again, I did end up uh, running uh, different tires set up as well. So I did end up getting a 215, 40, uh, 17s on both the front and the rear. So in the front, we did clear the gap pretty good as you guys can see. My actual like splash guard thing on the front is already messed up. Um, so this was already like that uh, since before, since I was running a a big tire, um, it was rubbing up against the inside. Uh, so this is pretty much how the front looks. Maybe have just a finger in there. Um, it looks pretty good. You guys can see. Um, and then I'll go ahead and show you guys back. So here he is for the back. Um, the back, maybe I might be able to go a little bit lower. I also did get, I forgot to mention, I did get the fenders rolled both front and back just in case we did rub. Um, so far, no issues with the callovers, it's doing pretty good. The only thing that I am getting is um, I keep hearing a little bit of like of a knock in the front, but I believe that might be since my splash guard thing is messed up. I'm thinking that's what's making the noise because it only does it when I turn it, so I'm thinking it's rubbing up against it. But the backs are very good. So this is the fitment that we got. As you guys remember, for the back, I had about exactly three fingers still gap. So as you guys can see, we have just one. So pretty good fitment. And again, these are still like, these are the preset settings on the clover. So I could still go down more if I want to. Uh, so for the future, maybe I might uh, go lower if I do get like a camber kit and stuff like that. If, one, one, if I want to tuck my, my tires in a little bit more, um, I might do that later. And then if I do end up getting maybe different wheels, uh, these are 17, so maybe if I go end up going to 18, I can lower it just a little bit. Uh, because right now as it is, it is already pretty low and I am already hitting a lot of things uh, when I drive it around and this is my daily. Um, so let me show you guys how it looks on the back. As you guys can see, so the car looks a lot, a lot better. So you see, it looks a lot better. Again, these are the function form uh, type one colors. See. say the colors are pretty good um, no complaint or anything like that so as 
so yeah that's pretty much it so i'm gonna do a quick video on the coilovers uh finally lowered um and then as you guys can see i already fucked up my front lip um even before it was lowered completely so I, i'm gonna have to get another one and then i will also be getting these high skirts as well so that's pretty much a quick update the coilovers are in mm -hmm. 